Right guys, how are we? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. I come to you as a rugby player. My name is Jacob McDonald. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, if you do enjoy it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I never know what I'm going to bring to the channel, but for tonight, at the very least, I'm going to bring some NBA content. Basketball content. You know, I played a bit of basketball in my time. Um, went to nationals, the New Zealand Secondary School Nationals in 2007 uh, we came I'm pretty sure we came 15th out of about 30 so we didn't make the the semis in fact I, I vividly remember watching the semis actually um, I was a power forward <laughs> would you believe six foot six foot six foot nothing uh, coming up against guys who were you know six foot six six foot seven um, the best basketball players in in the country you could say at the high school level. Either way, that's enough about me. I never had the best handles. I can tell you that. I could dunk it. I could dunk a 10-foot hoop. But I never had the best handles. And, you know, if I did have handles, they were only off um, They were only off the right hand. You know, I could, I could... Look, I could cross over with the best of them out of the right hand. But when it comes to crossing back with the left hand, man, I was almost like Shaq. In NBA 2K3, trying to do handles. Actually, no, no, even worse. So I was probably like Sean Brad, Sean Bradley, in NBA 2K3, because uh, basically every single time you tried to handle, you tried to cross over with him, he'd lose the ball, and it would go, you know, out basically, uh, if not turned over. So that's enough about me. Here we go. Uh, the great Joseph Vincent ha has created a video back in 2019 titled "The Greatest NBA Handles." slash ball skills ever so i'm assuming it's going to be a top 10 list if not um well we're going to see some handles and you know at the end of the day whether it be rugby whether it be basketball whether it be nfl whether it be lacrosse sidesteps jukes handles agility is right up my alley so i don't know what we're going to see here but i assume we're going to be impressed and let's get into it when you think about it, there's been so many great ball handlers, like so many people that you could make a case for. That somebody's gonna be left off at the end of the day. Honorable mention, Hand Wayne Wade. Handles. His place Shoot that. in NBA <laughs> is in tax. 16 seconds left to play in the half. Derek Rose. One on one at the he was in the last one video. Who, when all else fails, in the um, the greatest dunk. Oh my goodness! Oh! He didn't quite dunk that, but he... Oh my goodness, he broke his ankle! Oh my goodness, is there a medic in the house? Oh, he just got crossed <laughs> A lot of people can dribble Isaiah the Thomas, ball, I've seen him in very the, um, few can control the, ball. the top 30 greatest players of all time until I'm in right, Steve Francis okay. of the Houston yeah, Rockets nice. up next. Ranked. Steve Francis um, on the return end. You know, you got guys like, like Steve Francis. Francis. Steve Francis. I know Steve Nash, one on one I know about Steve Francis. Francis, blocked off. It's almost like there's magnets on his hand. Puts up the J and he says, in your face. In the face! In the face! <laughs> Let's get this party started! In the face! Look, I must admit, at the end of the day, Joseph Vincent is a bit of a legend around here. Jamal. Come on, Prophet! Oh my god, imagine doing that on a fast... Bro, you've just gone from sprinting as fast as you can to pulling up and that's the thing like these guys have they must have practiced so much they must be so used to the handle to the to the to the feel of the ball that you know whether they can actually see the ball bouncing it in front of them or whether it's behind them you know behind the back type shit uh, it's all the same it's almost as if they've got eyes in the back of their heads I want to talk about Jamal Crawford pretty crossovers we said just a couple of minutes ago maybe the best in the NBA here. right now yeah, done it at full pace doing something like that. The greatest six man the NBA has ever seen. It's going to go down! Crawford knocks it down! Bang! Off right, his right, right foot. From, this is called a Shabbat Shalom. What? Boom! Shabbat Bro, Shalom! You know, there's similarities between a juke Nine. or a release for a wide receiver. receiver. That the media and, uh, or Jason Williams. He played for the, uh, the Heat, didn't he? But yeah, there's definite similarities. There's definite things that you can see um, that allow the greatest players in various sports 
to dominate and to you know have handles you know ha- beat players whether it be with a ball in hand a football a rugby ball or using a basketball and actually you know what basketball is probably the hardest because I mean you're bouncing it you're bouncing the ball at the exact same time it's not as if you're just running with a ball in hand um, you've got to you've got to continue to bounce the ball at the same time either way Hartman has dubbed him white chocolate white chocolate Jeff comes up in the hands of Williams Kings break out three on two this is white chocolate so doing what white chocolate does. You out there. Like, I didn't like the guard. Who is this number 55, and how do we stop him? Oh, I was going to say, dunk that shit, man. When you first started doing all this stuff, and people just didn't even know what to make of you. Oh, baby! Behind the back, and they delivered. I love it here. That's a great play. Behind the back Jason to himself. Williams, tell you, I don't know if we've ever seen that. Game. People around the NBA know who he is now. That's the guy. That's the guy. White chocolate. You right. say that name, you know who you're talking about. The legend. Is this the Harlem Globetrotters or is this Jason White Williams Chocolate? I mean, that's a name that would, that would fit, actually. White chocolate. I consider uh, Gary Payton one of the, the, probably the greatest point guard defender ever in the history of NBA. What's he going to do? Williams crosses over, loses Gary, grabbed into the lane. No. Get out of my way. It had to be a floater, though. It had to be a floater. It had to be a floater because he's not the tallest. I mean, I'm going to give him, what, 6'1", 6'2". I'm not going to look it up, but he's not the tallest. He's certainly not going to be the highest vertical jumper. But uh, as far as getting himself in position to score... By Jason Williams. Hey. Oh, the nice respect, the Joe respect Bobby. between these guys Kimber must be just Kimber Walker. Kimber Walker. Walker. Kimber Walker. This right. brother is special. He's fast. He's quick. He's got a nasty handle. You're right, Stephen. Well, it's about his ball handle. He can dance on you and one stop. This dude ain't even six feet tall. He ain't even six feet tall. Is that right, Stephen Smith? This yeah, kid got a nice... is something special. Okay, Joseph Vincent. Sorry, Joseph Vincent wants to bring it, bring our attention to the situation, uh, the game situation. Let's just have another look at that. This kid is something. Right, Charlotte. Nine seconds on the shot clock, 15 seconds on the game clock. Charlotte are down by two. Nothing special. He's not going to shoot the three, is he? He is. Oh. Five on the clock. Now he's down the lane. No, he's not. But he's going to get to the brim. Oh, I'll tell you what. Not even six foot tall. Kemba Walker's one-on-one ability, Exhibit A. Walker puts up a three, puts it in. Kemba Walker. Well, he can shoot, right? Very good at that same type That's of That's the thing. If you've got handles and you can shoot, just the handles are going to get you in space, right? And then, you know, you've got a relatively open shot. Walker! <laughs> what happened there? Oh, come on, mate. Oh, don't tell me he's going to bring it. Nice. You can't get much better than that. Pistol Pete. Looking at Pete Maravich. Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete Maravich. In my opinion, the greatest playmaker playing today. At 22 years of age, it's reported he signed a $2 million basketball contract. Two million dollars. That looks like over in the 44 60s. points per game. While at LSU, he established a record as the greatest scorer in college history. Pistol Pete Maravich of LSU. Pete Maravich. Right. Maravich. Let's see what he'll do. Number 44. The ages. Maravich makes his first appearance on the court. He created a hoops frenzy. Uh, no look past. No look. We lob past. To be honest. Right, have a look at that. Don't miss it. <laughs> so why don't you enlighten us? Chris Paul. Paul. Still playing. I think. Paul buries the jumper. He's Drains one it. of the great, great guards. If not See, the, the greatest that's the thing, man. That's the thing with these guards, right? Fantastic handles. But it's not just the handles. If they can shoot, it's next level. 
you're going to break the guy's ankles, you're going to step back, have a completely wide open shot, and then it's up to you. This generation. But that's the thing, like, you've got, sorry, I'm going to stop this again. You've got to be able to, like, like I said at the start of this video, I could, I, I, could, I could literally only cross over or put it between my legs or have a decent crossover off my right hand or off my right foot. You've got, to, if you, you've got to be pretty ambidextrous, right? And if you can, go off the left and then off the right and then off the left, backwards, behind your back, you know, through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, behind the back, bang, left foot, right foot, left foot. That might be a bit too much, but I assume that's probably happened in a game before. Um, then, yeah, I mean, you're going to break some ankles, that's for sure. It's the big man, John the Little Man. But they have one of the all-time greatest point guards on their team. Oh, what a master! But there is no question in my mind. Oh well. And the thing is, if you can do that shit as at full a pace, point guard, this dude's a superstar. From That's an amazing. analytical perspective, if you look at the numbers, offense, defense, he's got a nice looking jump. There is too, a I very say. strong case to be made. Chris Paul is one of the two best point guards in the history of the sport. Well, that's man one. This guy is taking over the ball game. I think you know what you're getting every night with CP. What? And he he wants to win at all costs. In traffic and scores. Low, Harden, and Paul. Oh. Chris Paul. Ooh. It's gotta Ooh. go in, Smitty. It's gotta go in, it's Smitty. In. <laughs> and it does. Point guard with the best handle you ever saw. Five. God, Sham God. This. Sham God. God, God. Sham God. God, Sham God. He would put the ball out in front what? of you and he had this remarkable cross. God, you're telling me his like first name was God? Mind boggling. Throws the ball out with right hand and grabs it with his left. But well, you all grew up calling that the Sham God. Sham God. That was that. That was, and he was, it wasn't a European move. What a, what a, his uh, impact on today, I think a lot of these kids okay, this owe is him a, a couple Okay, of this is a, an honorable mention. Harden leads the league in scoring by James eight Harden. points a game. James Harden putting in the popcorn machine. Yeah! <laughs> bing, 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 bang. Popcorn. Yeah, wasn't whatever. expecting that. Let's talk about the streak of 30 points that he had. 32 in a row. Really Giannis has one game with 45 but, uh, points. Harden has 11. <laughs> Apparently not. Put the brakes on. I want to see James Harden without a beard, to be honest. Harden has more 50-point games this year. Kind of like I want to see comes out and play without beard, but either way, oh my god, what are you, you oh. going to do? Just oh, mes mesmerizing, it's just, it's just hypnotizing. And he can do it at full pace. And he drops his sledgehammer! What a play! The move, the drive, and drop in the end. This guy's something else, isn't he? Who's he playing for at the moment? I couldn't say. But, you know, all I really know of James Harden is when he played for the Rockets. He's got to be one of the greatest of all time, surely. Surely. That move is illegal in most every state except in Texas. Second only, Yao Ming. What's he gonna do? What? Too much. Actually, no. The the meme the meme type posts that you see about this guy is not about his handles, not about his scoring. It's about his lack of defense, isn't it? One, two, three. Ah, uh, 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 The variety of how he makes shots. Who's gonna be number two? Whether it's off the dribble, transition. Look at this. Woo! Wow. <laughs> it's stiff. How fun is he? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 that's embarrassing. The way Steph Curry just oh. runs around the court. Oh, he didn't like score, but shit. Broke some ankles. Tyler Hansbrough reaching for the ball and everything. Like the whole thing is his, it's his showcase. He's built like an honor roll student. This is game one, Western Conference semi-final. The whole arena goes Bro. Ooh, at the Ain't no seven time, footer gonna be no marking like Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, he literally turned him inside out, made him look silly. Oh These things God. tend to happen here at Oracle Arena. Incredibly improbable three. Like what? I mean that's Steph Curry, isn't Nobody it? Ever as good that's as Steph Curry. Curry. Literally just throws it up there. Forever. And it goes in. You will see duplication, just not as great. And and with Steph Curry to me is easily the most impactful player in the game. And he's got a bigger man on him, can he yeah. take him off the dribble? Man, I'll tell you what, okay. 
he should not have been able to shoot that three. Originally, he had a man in his face, but through some pretty epic handles, gets that two metres of space, jumps back behind the three-point line, and drains it. He can create space with his handles. And as a three-point shooter... I love right, Steph Curry. Here? He's the greatest shooter I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, from the logo. Why not? Why not? Just throw it up there. <laughs> and it wasn't even off the grass. Sorry, the glass. Curry splits the defense. Behind the back. Fires a three. That could be the three. He's not even looking. <laughs> You want to see a dribble move? Watch this one. Double behind your back. That's the thing. Behind the back. Behind it doesn't matter if it's in front of the ball. It, it doesn't matter if he can see the ball or not. And the bench is it's, loving it. It's all the same. His back. He's made plays. It's all the same. These he behind the back dribbles are just boom. Perfect timing. Something else. Steph Curry consistently does this. This is who he is, and it's been incredible to watch. Two. Oh, here we go. Number two, Allen Iverson. AI, here we go. Here, very quick move. The closest thing I've seen to a, a, a left football is right, is left right. Is right. sidestep. Is that against Jordan? Oh my god. Imagine some of Michael Jordan's best moves. Oh, Speed it up a little. Mate, Put that's that something else. On a Jordan yeah. wouldn't have been happy about that. <laughs> it would have been absolutely steaming. Absolutely steaming. And he scores. Split two defenders and drew a foul on it was, it was tougher. It was more physical. Oh, heck yeah. You put AI in today's size? game when you, can't touch when you can't touch. Come on, man. He averaged 30 the back then. Thing, and Vaughn is glued to him. I mean, he is in his shirt. And Allen's that trying is to good bust defense. a move on. That's gonna do. That is some extremely good defense. But... <laughs> oh no! Oh, he did all. Walking the hard work, still. He did all the hard work, but couldn't quite get it done in the end. The smallest nail in there. The defender I'm talking it. about. Can't do it. It's tough. That's that's the Allen Iverson. Born Brad's kick. Born Brad's kick. Get off my court. I have yeah. never ever seen. A little dude in my life carry a franchise on his back. Who's that? Vince Carter? Allen could. You can break it down little and say the handle is nasty or whatever the case may be. <laughs> he, honestly, you don't know where he's going. You Alan actually don't. Carry a Bang. Franchise. Oh, Allen Iverson. What a move. Allen Iverson. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. Shredded too. I look at AI. I'm like, man, he's Number got one, great Kyrie handles. Kyrie Irving. This is kind of close. You know what I mean? Kyrie, I mean, he's got All right. the handles. He finishes. He's still playing. I think we all have a lot of yep. respect yes. for Kyrie and his ability to get to the basket, finish the way he does, his mad handles. One second left, the Bobcats will call their final timeout. Yes, he's got better handles, and yes, I'd say he's a better shooter. He's a better well. shooter. Just three for 12 to start for the Warriors. Oh, well. Number two against number Irving, one. Irving, shake and bake, and throws it. That's a shake and bake right. Irving, who's it? Oh, at full pace, doing something like that is just crazy. Who has the best handles in the league? Is it Curry? Is it Kyrie? Is it somebody else? Nah, it's the professor, Kari Irving. Oh, which way did I go? That's where he got really famous, no, isn't it? I, I, I he put on a bloody, put on a, 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 um, a, um, a grand, no, a grandpa, was it grandma or grandpa? He, he dressed up as a, as a, an old man, you could say, and went down to the, the local street courts and absolutely balled out, and little did they know it was actually Kyrie Irving underneath, and he is apparently the number one best handler in NBA history and to think to think that these guys unknowingly were coming up against the likes of uh, Kyrie Irving well <laughs> yeah that would have been a surprise behind the back what's oh. to go Sub-Zero wins losing ankles and he goes <laughs> flawless victory 
tricking Kyrie and knock it down deep in the queue. Kyrie got that stuff you that make break you go home and clap to your mama. Yeah, and mom. This is what this yeah. man did. Oh, no. I told you to break this too. Oh, see that? That no, that's not that's not fair. You'd think, all right, so we go. He's going left. He's going right. Surely he's going to go up for the shot. No, he goes back left. How are you going to defend that? Pretty much impossible. And he made a pay for three. Oh. Dance on him, young fella. Dance the on him right, in the goes back to the left, Drains it. So that's the thing. These guys with massive handles, they're still they're they're, they're amazing. Too. From this crowd for his hustle. With a series of points. Unbelievable! No way! Somebody tell him he should have shot down with his left hand. I thought it would have been easier. It's that leading foot, and it's it's the it's the, the crossover Kyrie underneath Kyrie. that leading foot. Kyrie. What do you no, think of the Kyrie Irving Isaiah Thomas trade? Kyrie Irving is really long. What do I think? I think Danny what a sick is looking what the basketball he's doing. Look at the colors of it. Awesome. Put that shot up and down! <laughs> Inside. The Greek freak doesn't like it. Kyrie, I, I know Kyrie and oh, Washington are one of the 50 greatest Bit of a fumble, what's going to happen now? That's, that's Through the good. legs. Through the legs one way. Backwards. Behind. Oh, back. No! It's just... It's too much. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's just... Oh, no! It's too much. And we saw that in slow motion. It's nobody. Make it so. Interesting. Either way, guys, uh, that brings us to the end of another video. I want to say a special thanks to Joseph Vincent for bringing this video to YouTube so that I can react to it. Um, I want to say a special thanks to all of his Patreon supporters. And guys, if you want to become a Patreon supporter of mine, please do. The link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and well, there's plenty more videos uh, where that came from. So, as you can see, uh, we've, got, um, we've got a few more videos to go. What's the next one? The next one is... The biggest, baddest football hits. Not only that, we've got what happened to football's most iconic look. We've got Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, the trilogy. And I saw all three fights, so that's going to be a good one. Uh, and not only that, we've got Butterbean, the 350-pound meta-human. So, if you're interested in any of those videos, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love and peace out.